Hi, kindergartners. Write in your stretchy the snake words. I have a couple today with a B or a D. So see if you can decide. Use bed and see if is it a B or a D if you're getting confused. When you're ready, unmute so we can read them together. All right, this first one, let me check my bet. Oh, that's a D, it's going this way. Sad, sad. Let me check this one. Ooh, that's going the other way, so it's a B. K, ab, cab. This one doesn't have a B or D today. K, at, cat. So I want you to use this word in a sentence. Right here, use that word, cat. And for your challenge today, I wanna to see the sentence that you use the word cat in. So write your sentence, use your best uppercase, spaces between your words, lowercase letters, stretch out the words with the sound, and don't forget your end mark. That's your challenge today for the raffle. Write your sentence, take a picture of it, and send it to us in Seesaw. Okay, let's do our sight words, our star words really quick. I crossed out the ones I haven't done. I boxed this week's look and where, read them with me. You, do, my, are, he, with, she, of, little, was, is, for, have, this, they, said, want, hear, me, has, help, who, to, play, and this week, look, where. All right, kindergartners, you know it's Tuesday, so we're gonna do some reading. So, excuse me, if you have your reading finger, you can grab your reading friend. You can grab unit eight or unit seven or whatever book you have that you believe is your level. So if you need a harder book because you're reading a little bit harder books, grab that book. If this is just right for you, this is where we want you to practice. And the biggest thing we want you to be practicing, kindergartners, is reading the same story not just once, not just twice, but at least three times today because we want you to practice reading smoothly, not like a robot, or we use our tools, d, ad, dad, g, ot, got, a, j, ob, job. If I have to sound out each one of these words and stretch them out, that can sometimes make it so our reading's not as smooth. So now that I did that once, I can go back over and go, oh, that was dad got a job. So stretching out is really good. We want you to continue to do that when you don't know it, but that's why we go back and we read it again. And we go back and we read it again because then we can get really good at reading smooth, like good first grade readers. So your job, kindergarten,